Hey guys, in today's video we will be looking at a replay from Black Mary Stanford, aka Papusa Man from MM. This game is in realistic mode, but he manages to drop 7,970 damage, just shy of that AK mark. He uses the Sheridan really, really well, using the cover, launching rockets, and then using the realistic mode's spotting ability to allow him to shoot tanks across the map. If only he could hit these shots in our tournaments. As a quick side note, he said he would pay me for this video. He said he would send me a pupusa over PayPal, so there's that to look forward to. Now back to the video. Since this is realistic mode, it is so nice to be able to shoot TDs across the map while they struggle to see you. As you can see, he's going to do that multiple times, just memeing all over this poor Fosh who really can't do anything against him. Except for hold this really good angle so he can just shoot his gun instead of the side, because... Pupusa Man is a fantastic shot. Unparalleled. Uh, now he has a really good idea to move up, because if he stayed camping that entire time, there really wasn't going to be a whole lot he could do. And if he did want to do something, it would take him a considerable amount of time to go do it. And so now he decides to hit the super cheeky rocket shot, um, just, to, just to flex on the Fosh, honestly. And again, something he would never hit in a tournament because he likes to you know, only do good in pubs. But now he's behind their team, and they have no idea where he is. He can easily use this train as cover and pop out whenever he wants to shoot. Well, his other teammates have those guys constantly spotted for him, so he always knows where the Sheridan and T-92 are. Makes it super easy for him to farm. And he just takes advantage of it, right? Uh, he, Hori comes up. Doesn't even see him. He should have been spotted by the Sheridan, but doesn't even see him. Goes for the guy close to him. And can't do anything. He's forced to retreat, giving Pabusa literally free reign on their entire enemy team right now. He can shoot all the way across the map to their his spawn to shoot the guys there. And the only person somewhat able to contend him is the 405 on B. But he gets behind the rock, uses it as cover, lines up a really random curvy rocket shot just to meme on this poor Hori who <laughs> still for some reason on the ridge. Now it's down to a 3v4. Still plenty easy, easy, or easily winnable. Right? Easily winnable. Especially with the Sheridan. You know, it's so fast. He can shoot from behind cover. But he decides to go in having a rocket ready and shoot over the hill if need be. But it's really not necessary. Doesn't even have to aim at the IS-4, who's fin content on trying to finish off that tank. Now it's a 2v3, but still pretty winnable. Like He gets a nice shot into the AMX, who is very, very focused on shooting the T-54E1. Thankfully for him, the T-54E1 is pretty competent. He's backing up, keeping himself safe, and managing to put shots in, giving Black Mary plenty of time to shoot him, and then the T-54 can finish him. Now their main worry is this IS-4 and this huge amount of hit points, but using his speed, which he does very, very well here, easily circles the IS-4, puts a shot into him, and then goes around the hill. Will entirely flank around this hill, making the IS-4 completely forget about him, giving him a super easy shot in his side. Like this IS-4 doesn't even know what's about to hit him until it's way too late. And if that were me, I would have totally either tracked him or somehow bounced the back of that IS-4, just knowing my lark. Now it's down to a 1v2, but the IS-4 is... he's gonna die. The IS-4 has no chance. And now the T-92 decides to come out from wherever he was hiding, and Black Mirror does a very good th job of hiding behind the dead tank. He uses it very, very well, and this T-92 just does not know what to do. He should have gone around, but instead he lets him shoot him, and then shoots the dead tank instead. Now they're both at the same level of health, sort of, but Black Mary's got more DPM from his faster reload, so now it's a super easy brawl for him. It doesn't even matter that T-92 gets the shot into him, even though he's doing a pretty good job of trying to make him bounce off the space armor. And now at this point, easy win. Barely has to worry. He does a very good job of using his Sheridan speed, the rockets, and the fact that he can see everyone while still staying in a bush across the map, allowing him to conserve his hit points till the very end where he can take this clutch. 
And that is how he dropped 6,970 damage. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, remember to comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.